Hi friends, I am Madhu. In this video, we are going to talk about the chapter Simple Interest. There are two types of interest, Simple Interest and Compound Interest. About Compound Interest, we will talk in another video. So when we go to the bank for taking loan or for investing the money, we have to pay some interest on that. If we are borrowing, a money, uh, borrowing some money, then we have to pay interest on that. And that interest can be simple as well as compound. So now before we get started with our topic, we will begin with the inspiring thought. So the inspiring thought for today is, failure is the opportunity to begin more intelligently. Failure is not that you uh, your goal is finished and now you cannot do anything. It is a very good chance to learn from it where you have done the mistake, what was wrong. You can learn from the failure and then you can start with it more intelligently, more nicely. You can understand your mistakes and then you will start it. Means it is a very good beginning. Means we should not lose confidence. When we are failed in anything, when we have a failure, we should not lose confidence. We should learn from it. We should analyze where we were wrong. And then again, we should start with more, in, with more intelligence. And we should see that that mistake is not repeated. So if we take failure as an opportunity to begin more nicely, more intelligently, then we are on the road to success. So now let's get started with our topic that is simple interest. So before we get started with simple interest, you must may be aware that what is interest when we borrow a money, uh, when we borrow an amount of money, but for some time, then we have to pay some extra money on that. That is the interest. And now we are going to talk about simple interest. So simple interest is for example, I have borrowed 10,000 from the bank and I have borrowed for two years. That is my time that I want 10,000 for two years. So there is an increase in money when I will return that 10,000 after two years, I will not pay 10,000. I will pay some extra money so that uh, because it is known as interest. So how that uh, how much money will be increased that that is dependent on the rate that how much rate percent that interest will be like rate rate percent can be 10 percent 11 percent anything that can be on the interest so if 10,000 I have borrowed and the rate percent is like 10 percent then firstly I will calculate 10 percent of 10,000 and 10 percent per annum means that 10 percent will be charged every year and that will be counted as many years I have borrowed for. For example, I have borrowed for two years. So it means that that 10 percent will be charged on both the years. So that uh, from that we can get to know how much increase will be there in our principal. So that money which I have borrowed, like I have borrowed 10,000, that is known as the principal means principal or sum anything which you have borrowed or you have invested that is known as principal and which you uh, with the extra money which you will pay after the time have finished that is known as simple interest abbreviated as SI for time for how much time you have borrowed for one year two year three year anything and rate as I've told you that rate is how much increase will be there rate percent per annum per annum means annually yearly that much rate will be charged on the principal and amount at the end of the time like two years have finished and I have to pay that uh, a principal plus the interest so the total amount which I will pay principal also which I have borrowed and the interest that together is known as the amount which I will pay. So these are very basic terms in this chapter. Now we will see how to calculate them. Like simple interest if we want we have the formula principal this are, these are the short forms like P for principal, R for rate and T for time. So for calculating simple interest we have the formula P into R into T divided by 100. For calculating the principal, we have the formula 100 into simple interest divided by rate into time. 
for time we have the formula 100 into simple interest divided by principal into rate and for rate we have the formula 100 into simple interest divided by principal into time and for taking out the amount we will add the principal and the interest so friends now we will do some questions related to the formulas we have discussed earlier so the first one is find the simple interest and amount we have to find out the simple interest and uh, when we have calculated the simple interest we can get the formula also so principal is rupees 1625 Time is 2 years 8 months, rate is 15 by 2% per annum. So you can see here that time is, we have to convert it because it is given in 2 in, units, years also, months also. So we will convert it into years, 2 years is whole and 8, eight months we have to convert. So 8 divided by 12 because one year is equal to 12 month we will convert it into mixed fraction so we will cancel it and we will get 2 is to 2 by 3 and when we will convert it into improper fraction 2 by 3 6 8 by 3 so 8 by 3 years is our time this is the time now we will apply the formula and we will find out the simple interest and amount so as you know simple interest is equal to p into r into t divided by 100. So principal is 1625 into r rate is equal to 15 and it is in fraction so we have to write it down as well into, into time. So time is 8 by 3 and divided by 100. So, after the calculation, we will get rupees 3 to 5. This is the simple interest. Now, what we want is the amount. Amount is always principal plus interest. So, what is the principal? 1625. What is the simple interest? 325 and the amount which we will pay is 1950 when we will add them 2550 and this 391 so 1950 is the amount and this is the simple interest so like this you can solve any question just you need to remember the formula so friends we have our next question it is at what rate percent per annum will the simple interest on Rs. 5600 be Rs. 1960 in 4 years? The question is asking that the, we have to find out the rate percent means the rate percent is missing. We have to find out it. Will the simple interest on simple interest is always on the principal. So this one is the principal 5600 is the principal. And the simple interest is this. As the statement is saying, will the simple interest on? Means this is the simple interest on 5600 in 4 years. This is the time. We are having the time, we are having principal, we are having simple interest. We have to calculate the rate percent. So the formula will be rate is equal to 100 into SI that is simple interest divided by P into principal into time. So we will put the values now 100 into simple interest. Simple interest is 1960 divided by principal into time. Principal is 5600 and time is 4 years. So, after the calculations, we will get the fraction 35 by 4 percent. But we cannot leave it like this. We have to convert it into mixed fraction. 
so when we will convert it into mixed fraction we will get 8 3 by 4 percent per annum don't forget to write per annum as it shows that it the rate is charged every year annually so this one is the rate percent so like this you can calculate the rate percent and the formula you have to remember that is 100 into simple interest divided by principal into time so friends we have a next question it is what sum will yield rupees 406 as simple interest in one year two months at 6 is to 1 by 4 percent per annum so in this question we are given with the time we are having time we are having a rate we are having the simple interest what we want is the sum or the principal we have to calculate the principal so for calculating the principal you know the formula is 100 into simple interest divided by rate into time so as you can see rate and time are we have to convert them the uh, rate will be converted as 4 6 are, 30, uh, 4, 6 are 24 into plus 1 that is 25 by 4 percent per annum it, this is the rate and time one year two months one year two months we have to convert it into years so divided by 12 because one year is equal to 12 months so we will cancel 1 6 so the mixed fraction is 1 is to 1 by 6 and the improper fraction 6 1 the 6 plus 1 7 by 6 so 7 by 6 is the time 7 by 6 years is the time here now we are having the rate we are having the time now we will put the values 100 into simple interest simple interest is 406 divided by rate into time so the rate is 25 by 4 25 by 4 into the time it is 7 by 6 so these denominators will go up on the numerator side so it will be 100 into 406 into 4 into 4 into 6 of this and then down 25 into 7 so now after this calculation we will get the answer rupees 5568 so this one is the principle it is principle we have used the formula 100 into simple interest divided by rate into time we have put the values and the answer came very easily so it is a very simple question all about the formula so friends we have our last question it is in what time will the simple interest on rupees 7560 be rupees 1102.50 at 0.50 at 25 by 4% per annum so in this question we have to calculate we have to find out the time and we are having the principal we are having the simple interest we are having the rate we are having rate principal simple interest we have to calculate the time so the formula for time will be 100 into simple interest by principal into r into rate so this is the formula as you can see here that it uh, yeah now we will do the calculation that is 100 into simple interest simple interest is this one so 1102.50 here is the decimal so we will put the we will cut this decimal and we will put 100 down divided by principal is 7560 into rate rate is 25 by 4 so it will go 4 will go on the numerator side we will write it up into 4 this one and then we have to 
multiply it again with 100 because when we will cut this decimal of 1, uh, 102.50 we will put 100 down so now it is a very lengthy calculation so after the calculation we will get a fraction it is 7 by 3 so as we are finding out the time so we have to convert it into years and months so we will multiply this fraction by 12 because 1 year is equal to 12 month 1 we will cancel it 4 we will get 28 months 28 months is equal to 2 year 4 months this is the time 2 year 4 months is the time here we have calculated by the formula 100 into a simple interest divided by principal into R. So friends, we have finished this chapter of simple interest. I hope you have understood it. I will keep on making videos on another topic of maths as well. So stay connected with me and please tell your suggestions, your views in the comment box. That's all for this video. Thank you.